A very good evening to everybody, 10 o'clock, and I'm there in this very, very cold winter with the tips on listening. So without wasting much of time, let us start with the work. Today, we are going to do, as discussed yesterday, listening, directions, and maps. Now, this can be extremely tricky. So we'll try to work out the tricks and how to solve it out. In case you haven't followed us on social media, I request you to follow us on our Web Educom Limited channel. This is the channel on which I'm there every day at 10 p.m. And I'm conducting a listening workshop here. Listening workshop. And this listening workshop is for one week from Monday to Thursday. Today is the last day of this listening workshop. And from Monday onwards, we are going to have a writing workshop. This is a wonderful blog. You must visit the blog and see what's the latest thing. And in Instagram handle, you can see the latest news on examinations all over the world. This is a WhatsApp number. In case you want to book a test or you want to join the course, you can always give them a call and they will help you out with each and everything. Note down this number, pretty important. Let's talk about listening. But before I talk about listening, I would like to invite the people who wish to come in my Zoom session. There is a description in the box. Click on that link and you will be inside my Zoom room. So in case you wish to talk to me or in case you wish to participate in the whole discussion, it will be absolutely great. Come inside the room and we'll talk about it. Today is maps and labeling. One of the very tough kind of questions come in this particular area. Very tough questions because what happens is if you miss one, you miss everything. That is the problem. I would like to give you some feedback today. Today we had a very, very good TOEFL session, which was absolutely marvelous. We conducted that in an auditorium in Lawrence Road branch of Amritsar, and it went really, really well. So we have Shivani with us. So let's see, talk to Shivani. Shivani, can you unmute yourself, please? Hello, sir. Good evening. Very good evening, Shivani. How are you? I am fine, sir. How about you? I'm very good, Shivani. Shivani, today you were in the TOEFL class, if I'm not wrong, right? Yes, sir. How was the class? Sir, it's very good. And I learned a lot of knowledge about TOEFL class. And yes. I enjoy a lot. It was a very good class and it was a very enjoyable class also. And uh, we did the TOEFL full thing. And it was a great thing. There were a lot of people, about 70, 80 people were there attending the TOEFL class, which was a big hit. So now on the 1st of February, 2nd of February and 3rd of February, we are conducting mock test, a reality test of TOEFL. So in case you wish to participate in it, let us know. I've given you the number. I'll give you my number also in the chat box. I'll give you my number 987-255-2775. So you can always message me in case you wish to be a part of the TOEFL mock testing on 1st February, 2nd February, and 3rd February. If you want to be there, just give me a message and I'll book you a seat. Okay. Uh, so I'll let me wish everybody, Kirandeep Kaur, wishing you a very good evening. Suraj, wishing you a very good evening. And the learner, wishing you a very good evening. So we have one more person coming inside the Zoom room. That's Pooja. So wishing Pooja a very good evening too. All right. So if anybody out of you sitting on the YouTube wants to come to my Zoom session, click on the description link. You will find a Zoom link there. Click on that Zoom link and you will be inside the room directly. Let us start with the class now. Okay. What is listening? So listening is basically... Four parts of listening are there. Part one, part two, part three, and part four. There are two speakers in part one, one speaker in part two, two plus speaker in part three, and one speaker in part four. Every part has got 10 questions each. First two parts are very general, and the last two parts are very academic. The types of questions which come in listening are form, forms, notes, tables, flowchart, summary, 
plan map, diagram labeling, matching, multiple choice questions, sentence completion, short answer questions. So yesterday we have done this and this. We have also done sentence completion by completing the sentences with the words. We did these two maps and multiple choice questions on Monday and Tuesday. On Wednesday, we did this. On Wednesday, we did this yesterday. And on Thursday, we are going to do this. So this is what we're going to do today. So I have a lot of questions, lot of questions today, but I really don't know how much can we do because we have time constraints. We have time only till 11 o'clock and I'll try to do as much as possible. So let's see what you have to do. So what I'll do, I'll give you an exercise and I'll give you some tasks to do, and then we'll give some tips and it'll, the class will proceed on and on. So we have a lot of people coming on YouTube also now. So let me wish all of them. Kavaljeet Kaur, very good evening. Rajvinder Singh, very good evening. Arthi Gulati, very good evening. And Nashkarin Sharma, very good evening to you too. So we have one more person coming in the Zoom room. That is Rajneet Kaur. If anyone you, any one of you wishes to come in the Zoom room, click on the link in the description box and you will be directly in the Zoom room. Sukman Preet Kaur, wishing you very good evening too. Today is the last class of the listening workshop. From Monday, we will be having a writing workshop. So the people who are little scared about writing, attend that workshop. It's a very good workshop. From Monday to Thursday next week. Okay. So now we are going to do some exercises and I will take out a very good brand new exercise for you. Let me take it out. And we are going to start with our work. Okay. So I am going to give you an exercise on maps. And there is a sports center, a sports center. And we will be talking about the sports center. And I will give you questions based on that. Once you do the questions, then I will give you tips. Again, we'll do some questions. And this will continue on and on till you get a good score. So I'm just going to test my audio. So if you can see the screen, it's absolutely great. So let me talk to Shivani again. Okay, Shivani, you can you mute yourself? Yes, sir. Can you see it? Yes, sir. I'll play the audio. Tell me if you can hear the audio. Now okay. turn to section two. Can you hear the audio? Yes, sir. All right. All set. All clear. Yes, Thank sir. You, Shivani. Thank you, Shivani. So you can mute yourself. So now we are going to start with our class. There are seven questions which you have to do. And this diagram is there. So please, if you are working on the mobile, try to zoom it out or change it into a landscape so that you can see it very clearly. Keep your paper and pencil with you. Please make it sure that you write down the answers properly and only then transfer the answers to the chat box. Okay. Let us start now. Section 2. You will hear an employee of the Sports Super Centre giving a guided tour of the facilities in the centre. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 17. Listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 17. It's so nice to see so many people here on our open day. I hope you'll be impressed by what you see and that you'll all decide to join up. We have tried to cover all aspects of sport and fitness here at the centre. Well, let's start, shall we? As we're standing here at reception looking down the long corridor, You'll notice the car park on your left, where most of you have parked, asks you to reverse into the parking spaces for safety reasons. Also, this morning, a couple of keen potential members rode their bikes right in through the door instead of leaving their bikes outside there on your right, where the secure bike stands are. 
Um, you may be wondering why there are so many mothers arriving with little children. As we proceed, you'll see that this first room on your right is a creche, where you can leave your little ones for up to two hours and they'll be expertly supervised while you work out. After the creche, on the same side of the corridor, is the male locker room with showers, spa and sauna. Opposite that, on your left, there's a staircase leading to the mezzanine floor. You'll not only get a great view out over the playing fields, but you'll also find a coffee shop and snack bar selling a range of wholesome food and drinks, protein shakes, fruit smoothies, that kind of thing. We won't go up the stairs at this point. I'll give you some time later when you can explore at your leisure. Most of you in the group are women, so next let me point out the women's locker room, which has the same facilities as the men's, you know, things like showers, spa and sauna. It's separated from the men's locker room by an office, which the staff mainly use for administrative purposes. As we move on, on the same side of the corridor as the stairs, you'll see the entrance to the main hall, where they hold yoga classes, aerobics and so on. On the wall here, there is a timetable of all group classes and it is updated regularly. Now, opposite the hall is the gymnasium itself. Go ahead, have a look. Impressive, isn't it? Very spacious, light and airy with all the most modern equipment. As we continue down the corridor, past the main hall, on the same side, there is a conference room. This is mainly used when the centre is hosting a big sports event of some kind. It gives the officials a quiet place to gather and have meetings and so on. You'll have seen the 400 metre athletics track on your way in beside the car park. We have some pretty big athletics conventions here. Well, after a strenuous workout, I bet there's nothing you'd like more than a swim in the aquatic complex. But first, these rooms on our right are all part of the sports medicine clinic where you have access to a doctor, physiotherapist, massage therapist, podiatrist, and even a sports psychologist if you need one. Of course, you'll need to make appointments, but if you have any questions, just pop in and see the clinic receptionist and she'll help you out. OK, let's go through the turnstile ahead of us. And here we are, in the aquatic centre. Turn left, past the pool shop, where you can buy or hire goggles, swim caps and such like. And we're outside, poolside. Beautiful, isn't it? Especially on a day like today. Go on, dip your toes in the water. And if that's not warm enough for you, then I'll take you to the indoor pool, which is less than half the size, but heated to 32 degrees. Let's go back past the pool shop and through the double doors to the indoor pool. Well, that's all I have time to show you. Let's go back to the reception area and, if you like, we can run through some details about opening hours, membership and so on. Okay, that was a tough one, a very tough one. So now I want your answers. Get your paper and pencil ready. Transfer your answers in the chat box. I will show you the questions once again. Transfer the answers as 11, whatever, 12, 13, 14, 15. Write it down like this. It's easy for me to understand if you've understood it or not. So let's see what your answers are. Write down your answers in the chat box.
Okay, so now is the answer time. Let us see what you have written. So, Pooja has written 11th H, 12th C, 13th J, 14th F, 15th B, 16th I, and 17th A. Rajneet Kaur has written 11th H, 12th B, 13th J, 14th F, 15th is E, 16th is I, and 17th is A. All right, so we have two answers. And Shivani has written in a very continuous format. Can, Shivani, can you just write it down? In the format of 11, 12, 13, it's easy for me to understand. Okay, so now the learner says 11th H, 12th A, 13th J, 14th not done, 15th B, 16th I, 17th not done. Surat says 11th H, 12th C, 13th J, 14th F, 15th D, 16th F and 17th A. Kavaljeet says 11th F, 12th C, 13th B, 14th. Uh, 14th is B, 15th is E, 16th is H, and 17th is A. Okay. All right, Kavalji. So now we have got a lot of answers with us. Let us check our answers and see what went wrong. Here we are. And here we are. Ab isko ek -ek karke sunenge aur dekhte hain aapki galti kya hui hai. Administration office hai H, sports medicine clinic hai C, bike racks hai J, cafe hai F, conference room hai B, men's locker hai I, or pool shop hai A. Ab isse hum dobara play karne wale hain aur main saath saath mein link up karta raunga. Now turn to section two. Section two. You will hear an employee of the Sports Super Centre giving a guided tour of the facilities in the centre. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 17. Listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 17. It's so nice to see so many people here on our open day. I hope you'll be impressed by what you see and that you'll all decide to join up. We have tried to cover all aspects of sport and fitness here at the centre. Well, let's start, shall we? As we're standing here at reception looking down the long corridor, You'll notice the car park on your left, where most of you have parked, asks you to reverse into the parking spaces for safety reasons. Also, this morning, a couple of keen potential members rode their bikes right in through the door instead of leaving their bikes outside there on your right, where the secure bike stands are. Um, you may be wondering why there are so many mothers arriving with little children. As we proceed, you'll see that this first room on your right is a creche where you can leave your little ones for up to two hours and they'll be expertly supervised while you work out. After the creche, on the same side of the corridor, is the male locker room with showers, spa and sauna. Opposite that, on your left, there's a staircase leading to the mezzanine floor. You'll not only get a great view out over the playing fields, but you'll also find a coffee shop and snack bar selling a range of wholesome food and drinks, protein shakes, fruit smoothies, that kind of thing. We won't go up the stairs at this point. I'll give you some time later when you can explore at your leisure. Most of you in the group are women, so next let me point out the women's locker room, which has the same facilities as the men's, you know, things like showers, spa and sauna. It's separated from the men's locker room by an office which the staff mainly use for administrative purposes. As we move on, on the same side of the corridor as the stairs, you'll see the entrance to the main hall, where they hold yoga classes, aerobics and so on. On the wall here, there is a timetable of all group classes and it is updated regularly. Now, opposite the hall is the gymnasium itself, 
Go ahead, have a look. Impressive, isn't it? Very spacious, light and airy with all the most modern equipment. As we continue down the corridor, past the main hall, on the same side, there is a conference room. This is mainly used when the centre is hosting a big sports event of some kind. It gives the officials a quiet place to gather and have meetings and so on. You'll have seen the 400 metre athletics track on your way in beside the car park. We have some pretty big athletics conventions here. Well, after a strenuous workout, I bet there's nothing you'd like more than a swim in the aquatic complex. But first, these rooms on our right are all part of the sports medicine clinic where you have access to a doctor, physiotherapist, massage therapist, podiatrist and even a sports psychologist if you need one. Of course, you'll need to make appointments, but if you have any questions, just pop in and see the clinic receptionist and she'll help you out. OK, let's go through the turnstile ahead of us. And here we are, in the aquatic centre. Turn left, past the pool shop, where you can buy or hire goggles, swim caps and such like. And we're outside, poolside. Beautiful, isn't it? Especially on a day like today. Go on, dip your toes in the water. And if that's not warm enough for you, then I'll take you to the indoor pool, which is less than half the size, but heated to 32 degrees. Let's go back past the pool shop and through the double doors to the indoor pool. Well, that's all I have time to show you. Let's go back to the reception area and, if you like, we can run through some details about opening hours, membership and so on. Okay, so now if you've seen this, this is very tricky because it's not in a sequence. It is all out of sequence, kabhi kuch, kabhi kuch, kabhi kuch, and it's all jumbled up. So that was a very tricky thing. So let us do one thing. Let us find out what you have to say. Aapke kitne marks hai, is me dekhte hai ji. To aapke jitne bhi marks hai hai, lik dije out of seven. So if you got Six or seven, aapki condition good hai. Agar aapke four, five, to okay hai. Agar zero, one, two or three hai, to aapko isme help chahiye. Help chahiye. Agar aapke kam hai isme to, help chahiye. To please apne apne answer likhiye fada fad. और हम पढ़ते हैं आपके आंसर और देखते हैं आपको क्या प्रॉब्लम आई बिकॉज़ अब मैं आपको टिप्स दूंगा फिर वापस करेंगे फिर देखते हैं क्या फर्क पड़ता है ठीक है तो अपने अपने आंसर्स लिखिए जल्दी से ओके okay. uh, तो शुरू करते हैं जी पढ़ना है इनका क्या लिखा है इन्होंने सबसे पहले सुखमन प्रीत वेरी गुड इवनिंग लर्नर ने आंसर लिखे हैं सूरज ने लिख दिए कवलजीत ने लिखे आशकर ने लिखे सुखमन प्रीत ने लिखे Harman Maan ne very good evening Harman Maan. Rajvinder ne bhi answer likhe hain. Ashkirin Sharma ne likhe hain six out of seven. Kavaljit ke aaye hain three out of seven. Suraj ne six out of seven hain. Sukhman Preet ke five hain. Aarti Gulati ka one hain. Learner ke aaye hain four out of seven. Chali ji. Ab dekhte hain online mein kitne logon ke aaye hain jo mere paas Zoom room mein baithe hain. Pooja ke aaye hain seven. Rajneet Kaur ke aaye hain five. Aur Shivani ke aaye hain seven. चलो टिप्स लेते हैं जी फटाफट टिप्स करेंगे और टिप्स के बाद फिर दोबारा से एक और करेंगे बिकॉज ये टिप्स बहुत जरूरी होते हैं भाई बहुत जरूरी होते हैं अगर आप टिप्स नहीं देखोगे तो आपको हमेशा प्रॉब्लम ही रहेगी क्या हो रहा है क्या नहीं हो रहा तो मैं आपको टिप्स कराने वाला हूं अभी सो लेट मी टेक आउट माई टिप्स का पेज टिप्स का पेज आपको दिखा रहा हूं एक सेकेंड में क्योंकि बहुत ज्यादा जरूरी है हमें पता होना चाहिए किस तरह से हम इसे हैंडल करें अगर आपको हैंडलिंग करनी आ जाए चीज की तो उसका कोई मुकाबला नहीं होता तो मैं बिल्कुल बेसिक्स पे जा रहा हूं हैंडलिंग करवाना है क्या आपको चेक करते हैं जी मैं शेयर कर रहा हूं स्क्रीन को नाउ द फर्स्ट थिंग इन डायरेक्शन मैप्स हम लॉस्ट हो जाते हैं और आज हमारे साथ यही हुआ है 
मेजोरिटी लोगों के जिनके तीन तीन दो दो एक एक नंबर आए हैं वो सब गुम गए दे गॉट लॉस्ट सारा कॉन्सेप्ट मैं सब हो जाता है अगर हम एक भी डायरेक्शन में सब कर देते तो एक एक कहीं गलत चले गए हम तो सारा कुछ गड़बड़ हो गया स्पीड बढ़ती रहती है आपने देखा ही होगा अभी लेफ्ट राइट नॉर्थ ईस्ट साउथ वेस्ट करके आपको बहुत कंफ्यूज करते हैं इसमें तो चलो खाली लेफ्ट एंड राइट ही बोला उसने नॉर्थ एंड साउथ नहीं बोला था बट अभी नॉर्थ साउथ वाला भी करके देखेंगे हम कैसा होता है वो कैबिलरी लोकेशन होती है जब एक के रिलेशन उस चीज बताई जाती है फॉर एग्जाम्पल उसने कहा क्रैश के साथ में चेंजिंग रूम है उसके साथ में एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव ऑफिस है ये कुछ वोकेबलरी वर्ड्स हैं जो यूज किए जाते हैं नियर इन फ्रंट ऑफ नेक्स्ट टू बिसाइड अक्रॉस बिटवीन डायरेक्शन का मतलब है किस डायरेक्शन में आप जा रहे हैं लेफ्ट जा रहे हैं राइट जा रहे हैं नॉर्थ ईस्ट वेस्ट जा कहा रहे हैं टर्न राइट टर्न लेफ्ट गो स्ट्रेट ऑन ट्रेवल नॉर्थ वेस्ट गो पास्ट ये देखिए ये मैंने मिलता जुलता एक डायग्राम आप सबके बीच में ले आया हूं ये तो यहां पे ना बहुत कुछ दिया हुआ है सो लेट मी जस्ट अनम्यूट समी एंड आस्क दम टू हेल्प मी आउट विद दिस मैटर तो पूजा जी क्या आप अपने आप को अनम्यूट कर सकती हैं हाय पूजा कैन यू अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ शिवानी एंड राजनीत कौर कैन यू अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ यस सर ओके शिवानी ने अनम्यूट ही कर लिया ठीक है शिवानी uh, राजनीत आप अनम्यूट कर सकती हैं अपने आप को राजनीत कैन यू टॉक यस चलो राजनीत मैं आपसे सवाल पूछता हूँ ठीक है तो सपोज कीजिए आप यहाँ रिसेप्शन पे खड़े हैं यहाँ पे यहाँ हैं आप ठीक है yes, तो सबसे नॉर्थ में इमीडिएट नॉर्थ में जब जाएंगे आपको क्या नजर आता है पूल एंड जिम पूल एंड जिम वेरी गुड पूल के ईस्ट साइड पे क्या है सिटिंग एरिया पूल की वेस्ट साइड पे क्या है चेंजिंग रूम पूल की एक्सट्रीम वेस्ट में क्या है आउटडोर कोर्ट्स और सीटिंग के एक्सट्रीम वेस्ट में क्या ईस्ट में क्या है आउटडोर कोर्ट्स वेरी नाइस चलो अब अगला करते हैं थोड़ा सा मुश्किल करेंगे इसको ओके okay. एंट्रेंस इज इन द फ्रंट ऑफ द रिसेप्शन डेस्क रिसेप्शन डेस्क इज फेसिंग द एंट्रेंस जैसे बोलते हैं पूल इज इन देंटर ऑन द मिडल ऑफ द स्पोर्ट्स सेंटर द जिम इज बिहाइंड द स्विमिंग पूल द पूल इज बिटवीन द रिसेप्शन एंड द जिम सीटिंग एरिया इज नेक्स्ट टू बाय द पूल अब ये थोड़ा कॉम्प्लेक्स आ गया ठीक है आपको दिख रहा है जी राजनीत क्या आपको दिख रहा है ये यस सर अब चलिए एक काम कीजिए राजनीत मुझे ना आप रिसेप्शन पे खड़ी हैं तो मुझे डांस स्टूडियो तक लेके जाइए देखते हैं आप कैसे लेके जाते हैं यहाँ रिसेप्शन है और ये है डांस स्टूडियो तो आपने यहाँ तक जाना है लेके लेफ्ट राइट नॉर्थ ईस्ट वेस्ट साउथ कुछ भी बोल सकते हैं जो ऊपर वो कैबलर के वर्ड है वो भी बोल सकते हैं लेके जाइए वहां तक फर्स्ट वे मे मूव टू दाइट टू दीम ओके Then we will to uh, turn towards north. Then turn towards towards north. north. उसके बाद इन फ्रंट ऑफ जिम देर इज अटूडियो एट दी राइट साइड ऑन द राइट साइड इज अस स्टूडियो परफेक्टली फाइन बिल्कुल ठीक है जी आपने पहुंचा दिया बड़ी बढ़िया बात करी अब चलो शिवानी की हेल्प लेते हैं शिवानी जी अब आपकी हेल्प है अनम्यूट कीजिए शिवानी जी यस सर शिवानी आपने मेरे को भी पहुंचाना है तो आप रिसेप्शन पे खड़ी हैं आपने रिसेप्शन से चेंजिंग रूम पे आना है ये वाला चेंजिंग रूम में यहाँ पे आपने यहाँ पे लेके आना है यस सर। बताइए क्या करेंगे फर्स्टली आई रीच द रिसेप्शन एरिया टर्न टर्न लेफ्ट एंड रीच टू साउथ वेस्ट कॉर्नर चेंजिंग रूम वंडरफुल तो आप चेंजिंग रूम में पहुंच गए जी Very nice, very good. बिल्कुल ठीक है चलिए अब हम थोड़ा सा एक्सरसाइज करेंगे इसके ऊपर थोड़ा टिप मिल गया फिर एक्सरसाइज करेंगे फिर थोड़ा टिप्स लेंगे फिर एक्सरसाइज करेंगे ताकि हमारा परफेक्ट आंसर आ जाए ठीक है चलिए मैं एक्सरसाइज निकाल देता हूं और अब हम एक्सरसाइज करने वाले हैं एक और 
तो इस एक्सरसाइज में हम करेंगे एक और मैप देखिए जी ये है मैप अब इस मैप के ऊपर नॉर्थ ईस्ट वेस्ट साउथ सब कुछ बना है ठीक है और हमने इसको सॉल्व करना अब पांच चीजें ढूंढनी है साइंस म्यूजियम नेशनल हिस्ट्री म्यूजियम कार पार्क शॉपिंग मॉल एंड प्राइमरी स्कूल और जो जगहें दी हुई है वहां पे दे आर ए बी सी डी एंड ई दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी डिफिकल्ट इट इज प्रिटी इजी सो आई एम गोइंग टू प्ले दिस एवरीबडी शुड बी गेटिंग फाइव मार्क्स आउट ऑफ फाइव जस्ट कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन दिस एंड यू विल गेट इट सेक्शन टू You will hear a talk about the main points of interest and the improvements made in the area. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 15. Thank you all for coming to our community meeting. As you know, we're excited to unveil our improvement plan as we look forward to the influx of tourists in the summer months. I'll start with a quick overview of the main points of interest in the area for anyone who may not quite know his or her way around yet, and then I'll get to the improvements made. First off is my favorite, the Science Museum, which is on the corner of St George Road. If you have not visited yet, I encourage you to go before the busy season. It is absolutely spectacular. There is even a flight simulator you can try out. Just west of the Science Museum is the National History Museum. It's a sight not to be missed as well, with each floor devoted to a different era in our nation's history. There are special exhibits for children with interactive games and fun history lessons too. If you're looking for parking, it is available on the intersection of Queen Street and South King Street in the car park. Standard hourly and daily rates do apply. The best place for souvenirs is the shopping mall, though it gets extremely busy during peak times. You can get there from the tube or the entrance on Timber Road. just south of Cornwall Road this area has students everywhere usually from the primary school across the street from the shopping mall classes often take field trips and engage in guided tours through the area so that's the overview of the main sites and hopefully by now i've given you a general idea of the area okay so now comes the turn of answers ए बी ई तो बहुत सिंपल है सी डी में प्रॉब्लम है लास्ट दो में प्रॉब्लम आएगी शॉपिंग मॉल में और प्राइमरी स्कूल में बाकी तो सब ठीक ही लग रहा है तो फटाफट अपने आंसर्स लिखिए चैट बॉक्स के अंदर और देखते हैं आपने क्या लिखा है लेट सी वट यू हैव रिटन राइट डाउन योर आंसर इन द चैट बॉक्स अब फर्क तो पड़ना चाहिए एटलीस्ट चार तो आने चाहिए सबके चार या पांच होने चाहिए लेट्स सी द लर्नर लिखते हैं बी ए डी सी तो जो हमारी जूम पे बैठे हुए हैं वो देखते हैं क्या लिखते हैं तो राजनीति ने निकले बी ए डी सी इन्होंने भी सेम ही लिखा है राजनीति ने बाकी सब देखते हैं क्या लिखते हैं भाई फटाफट लिखिए शिवानी आपका आंसर नहीं आया हमें बाकी सूरज का आंसर है बी ए सी डी आपने चेंज कर दिया एश किरण लिखती है बी ए सी डी आरती गुलाटी लिखती है बी ए डी सी वीरपा लिखती है बी ए डी सी तो जैसे मैंने प्रिडिक्ट किया था कि लास्ट तो में प्रॉब्लम आएगी आप इंटरचेंज कर देंगे उन दोनों को तो वही हो रहा है चलिए शिवानी ने लिखा है बी ए सी डी दोबारा प्ले करना पड़ेगा देखने के लिए कवलजीत लिखते हैं बी ई ए सी डी कवलजीत आपने ई e और ए को भी इंटरचेंज कर दिया है ओके 
चलो देखेंगे आंसर क्या है इसके वी विल चेक दिन वी विल प्ले इट अगेन सो द आंसर आर बी ए सी डी बी ए सी डी तो बहुत लोगों के पांच पांच नंबर आए होंगे अभी लेट मी प्ले इट अगेन सो यू विल कम टू नो वेर वी आर सेक्शन टू यू विल Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 15. Thank you all for coming to our community meeting. As you know, we're excited to unveil our improvement plan as we look forward to the influx of tourists in the summer months. I'll start with a quick overview of the main points of interest in the area for anyone who may not quite know his or her way around yet, and then I'll get to the improvements made. First off is my favorite, the Science Museum, which is on the corner of St George Road. If you have not visited yet, I encourage you to go before the busy season. It is absolutely spectacular. There is even a flight simulator you can try out. Just west of the Science Museum is the National History Museum. It's a sight not to be missed as well, with each floor devoted to a different era in our nation's history. There are special exhibits for children with interactive games and fun history lessons too. If you're looking for parking, it is available on the intersection of Queen Street and South King Street in the car park. Standard hourly and daily rates do apply. The best place for souvenirs is the shopping mall, though it gets extremely busy during peak times. You can get there from the tube or the entrance on Timber Road. अच्छा अब देखो ध्यान से इसने क्या बोला है यू कैन गेट देर फ्रॉम द ट्यूब जो अंडरग्राउंड है ना वो मेट्रो ट्रेन होती है जैसे दिल्ली में मेट्रो ट्रेन हैं तो यूके में इसे ट्यूब बोलते हैं ट्यूब अंडरग्राउंड या ट्यूब कहता उसकी एंट्रेंस से जब आप आएंगे तो शॉपिंग मॉल में डायरेक्टली घुस जाएंगे सो दैट इज नेक्स्ट टू इट दैट इज कॉल्ड एस सी जस्ट साउथ ऑफ कॉर्नवेल रोड दिस एरिया हैज स्टूडेंट एवरीवेयर Usually from the primary school across the street from the shopping mall, classes often take field trips and engage in guided tours through the area. So that's the overview of the main sites. अब कहता है जो school children आते हैं कहाँ से आते हैं across the road. Across the road मतलब tube के across the road. सामने आते हैं shopping mall के across the road वहाँ से आते हैं. तो ये थी हमारी बहुत बड़ी confusion. और ये confusion कैसे पैदा हुई? हमें पता नहीं था ट्यूब का मतलब क्या होता है तो ये आ गया हमारा डी और शॉपिंग मॉल आ गई हमारी सी मैं फिर से रिपीट करता हूं ट्यूब टी यू बी ई ट्यूब इसको बोलते हैं अंडरग्राउंड अंडरग्राउंड मेट्रो होती है जैसे दिल्ली में आप गए हैं उसे अंडरग्राउंड बोला जाता है मेट्रो या अंडरग्राउंड इट्स कॉल्ड अंडरग्राउंड ओके So that is called as tube. अगर आपको पता होता तो कभी भी गलती ये ना होती तो ये हो गया जी हमारा ये वाला सेशन अब फिर से थोड़े टिप्स लेंगे और देखते हैं आप कहाँ पे खड़े हैं टोटल लिखिए जी आपके क्या नंबर आए फटाफट लिखिए नंबर क्या आए पांच में से शिवानी के पांच में से पांच आए हैं वेरी गुड राजनीत कौर आपके कितने आए हैं बताइए राजनीत कौर के तीन आए हैं गुड बाकी सबके देखते हैं मार्क्स क्या आए हैं साउथ कंफ्यूज यू लर्नर बोलते हैं जी साउथ कंफ्यूज यू कोई बात नहीं देख लेते दोबारा से साउथ कहाँ है ये देखो भाई ये यहां दिया है ऊपर साउथ ये ईस्ट ये वेस्ट और ये नॉर्थ कंपस बनी हुई है एशकिरण के पांच हैं आरती के तीन हैं सूरज के पांच हैं कवलजीत के तीन हैं लर्नर के तीन आए हैं वेरी गुड वंडरफुल एक गलती के कारण दो गलतियां हो गई वीरपाल कौर के थ्री आए हैं चलिए इसे दोबारा से करेंगे अभी हम थोड़े से टिप्स और लेते हैं फिर वापस आएंगे एक और करेंगे आज मैंने आपको तीन चार करवाने ताकि आप एकदम हाथ सेट हो जाए मैप्स के ऊपर एक और करेंगे ठीक है पहले थोड़े से टिप्स लेंगे फिर इसका एक और कार्यक्रम करते हैं लेट से हमने ये कर लिया था अब हम देखते हैं कुछ और वो कैबलरी वर्ड The sports is on the left-hand side. The right-hand side is the entrance. There's a cafe. 
पास थ्रू द एंट्रेंस टर्न राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू ये बड़े इंपॉर्टेंट वोकेबलरी वर्ड है इनका स्क्रीन शॉट ले लेना अब ये स्क्रीन शॉट ना यहाँ दिया मैंने ऊपर सारी वोकेबलरी ऊपर दी हुई है बहुत अच्छी वोकेबलरी है रख लीजिए अपने पास तो ये बहुत अच्छे से मैंने सेंटेंसेस बनाए हुए हैं इसके तो बहुत काम आएंगे अब आते हैं बेसिक डायरेक्शंस के ऊपर नॉर्थ ईस्ट वेस्ट साउथ के ऊपर ये नॉर्थ ईस्ट वेस्ट साउथ है बेसिक टर्न डायरेक्शन अगर टेढ़ा वाला था तो ऐसे नॉर्थ ईस्ट वेस्ट साउथ है मोर वो कैबलरी नॉर्थ ईस्ट नॉर्थ वेस्ट नॉर्थ साउथ साउथ वेस्ट साउथ ईस्ट कुछ और वो कैबलरी वर्ड्स टू द नॉर्थ टू द साउथ इन द नॉर्थ ईस्ट इन द साउथ वेस्ट नॉर्थ साइड ईस्ट साइड वेस्ट साइड साउथ साइड हेडिंग ईस्ट स्लाइडली वेस्ट ऑफ जस्ट साउथ ऑफ नियर सेकेंड टर्निंग ऑन द लेफ्ट स्ट्रेट अ हेड ऑपोजिट अक्रॉस द रोड सेम साइड बिफोर यू गेट ऑन जंक्शन डेड एंड लीड्स ऑफ the chemist is opposite the supermarket they are going to build new houses across the road there is a supermarket on the same side of the road walk across west along the high street and you would pass the library before you get to the junction of the station road the bank is dead end road on a dead end road that leads off the high street to ye hamare kuch aur vocabulary words aapko mile ab hum inko use karke ek aur karenge ek aur karte hain डोंट वरी जब तक ठीक नहीं होगा तब तक जाने का कोई पॉइंट नहीं होता ठीक करना जरूरी है नंबर आने जरूरी है हमें तो नंबर लाएंगे कोई चक्कर नहीं है नंबर तो मेन है जी तो मेरे को सवाल आ रहे हैं बीच में से तो मेरे को जंक्शन जंक्शन का मतलब है क्रॉसिंग ऐसा जंक्शन होता है जंक्शन लाइक जंक्शन है ये क्रॉसिंग है जंक्शन का मतलब ये है तो अब हम करेंगे जी रेड हिल इंप्रूवमेंट प्लान और ये हमारा प्लान है यहां पे ना देखिए रोड्स स्ट्रीट्स के नाम दिए हैं क्रैनबेरी स्ट्रीट टॉमस स्ट्रीट डेज रोड एवलिन स्ट्रीट हिल स्ट्रीट सुपरमार्केट दी हुई है एक ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी एच तक नंबर्स दिए हैं अल्फाबेट्स दिए हैं उन्हें मार्क करना है हमें क्या चीज कहाँ पे है तो ये एक ओवरऑल अंडरस्टैंडिंग आपकी हो गई तो अब मेरे पास ये कुछ सेवन तरह के क्वेश्चंस हैं मेरे को ढूंढना है ट्रीज कहां पे हैं वाइडर फुटपाथ कलर्ड रोड सरफेस न्यू साइन ट्रैफिक साइन आर्ट वर्क चिल्ड्रन प्ले ग्राउंड कहा ढूंढनी है सेवन अगर आपके सिक्स या सेवन आ गए तो बहुत खुशी की बात है कम आएंगे तो फिर देखना पड़ेगा आगे क्या करना है मैं प्ले कर रहा हूं जी कीप योर पेंसिल हैंडी विद यू मेक इट श्योर दैट यू डू इट प्रॉपरली इफ एनी बडी वॉन्ट्स टू कम इन द जूम सेशन इन साइड लेट मी नो We will help you out. But पहले हम ये करने से पहले राजनीत कौर को पूछते हैं जो कि सबकी गलती हुई है डी और सी को इंटरचेंज क्यों किया गया क्या प्रॉब्लम आई आपको इंटरचेंज किया जो आपने राजनीत कैन यू जस्ट लेटस नो आपको क्या प्रॉब्लम आई सा हमारी सारी जनता को भी सेम प्रॉब्लम आई होगी सर बिकॉज आई डोंट नो द मीनिंग ऑफ ट्यूब You did not know the meaning of tube and the underground. That was the problem. I could understand that. All right. Yes. Thank you. So now you are clear with it. good so let's do it now this is red hill improvement hill uh, red hill improvement plan so i am playing this very small audio 1 minute 48 seconds that's it playing it do it now we've also put together a map which is sent out to all the residents in the area and on the map we've marked the proposed changes Firstly, we'll plant mature pine trees to provide shelter and shade just to the right of the supermarket in Day's Road. In order to address the traffic problems, the pavements on the corner of Carberry and Thomas Street will be widened. This will help to reduce the speed of vehicles entering Thomas Street. We think it's very important to separate the local residential streets from the main road, so the roadway at the entrance to Thomas Street from Day's Road will be painted red. This should mark it more clearly and act as a signal for traffic to slow down. One way of making sure that the pedestrians are safe is to increase signage at the intersections. A keep clear sign will be erected at the junction of Evelyn Street and Hill Street to enable traffic to exit at all times. Something we're planning to do to help control the flow of traffic in the area is to install traffic lights halfway down Hill Street where it crosses Day's Road. Now, We haven't only thought about the cars and traffic, of course. There's also something for the children. 
We're going to get school children in the area to research a local story, the life of a local sports hero, perhaps. And an artist will incorporate that story into paintings on the wall of a building on the other side of Hill Street from the supermarket. And finally, we've agreed to build a new children's playground, which will be at the other end of Hill Street, close to the intersection with Carberry Street. Wonderful. Now, what's the next stage? Well, the final plan. Okay. So this was about the map. Let me see what answers you have. Start writing down the answers. And agar aapka theek ho gaya, this will be the last one. Agar nahi theek hua, again we'll go for the tips and again we'll figure it out. So now you should be getting six or seven score. Six or seven score. So let us see what you have to write here. Rajneet, Shivani and rest of the people on the YouTube, please write down your answers. I'll share this again. Write down your answers. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay, till you write the answers, Deepak, uh, I had three out of five, the learner. Sir, leads off means ye rasta vaha jata hai. Leads off to that place. Vaha jata hai. Raj, Rajvinder Singh kya hai? Three out of five. Okay. So, is me dekhte aapke kya marks aate hai? Red Hill Improvement Plan. Is kya answers DJ Ameriko? What answers you're going to get? Let us see. Write down your answers in the chat box. Quickly write down the answer. 14th is C, 15th is D, 16th is G, 17th is Patanish 18th is F, 19th is E. Write down the answers. Okay, so this was the last one. Write down the answers. Okay, so this was the last one. Write down the answers. Okay, so this was the last one. Write down the answers. Okay, so this was the last one. Write down the answers. Okay, so this was the last one. Write down the answers. Okay, so this was the last one. Write down the answers. Okay, so this was the last one. Write down the answers. Shivani Kaya, 14H, 15B, 16D, 17C, 18G, 19F, and 20E. The learner ke answer aye hai ji pele answer hai Kaval Jeet Kwar ke. 14G, 15A, 16B, 20D. Learner ke hai CHG, BFAE. And Suraj ne apne answer change kar diye hai. C, D, G, F for A or E. वीरपाल कौर के सीडीजी एफएई चलिए आंसर देखेंगे अपने और फिर दोबारा से प्ले करेंगे और ये हैं हमारे आंसर सीडीजी बीएफएई सीडीजी बीएफएई तो होपफुली अगर आपके सिक्स या सेवन आते हैं तो बहुत अच्छी बात है चेक कीजिए चेक योर आंसर्स Check your answers quickly. And Miracle status may marks like Neshuru Kijiye. If you got six, ya seven, to up condition that she hai, bohat badia hai. Agar apke marks four, five hai. तो ओके okay है और अगर आपकी कंडीशन जीरो वन टू एंड थ्री है तो आपको बहुत ही हेल्प की जरूरत है आपको हेल्प की जरूरत है जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव इज ओके सिक्स सेवन इज गुड हेल्प की जरूरत है आपको अगर कम मार्क्स आए हैं तो देखते हैं मार्क्स क्या आए हैं लर्नर के सिक्स आए आशकिरण के सिक्स आए सूरज के सिक्स वीरपाल कौर के सिक्स हैं कवलजीत कौर का कोई भी ठीक नहीं है आरती गुलाटी का थ्री आउट ऑफ सेवन है आरती गुलाटी का प्रॉब्लम कवलजीत कौर आपको भी प्रॉब्लम है कोई बात नहीं कवलजीत टेंशन मत लगाइए अभी दोबारा सॉल्व करेंगे देखिए अगर प्रॉब्लम है तो उसे ठीक करना जरूरी है अगर हम ठीक नहीं करते तो प्रॉब्लम एग्रवेट हो जाती 
कोई भी प्रॉब्लम हो मेडिकल प्रॉब्लम है एग्जामिनेशन प्रॉब्लम है वी हैव टू फिक्स इट राइट फिक्सिंग इट राइट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राजनीत शिवानी अपने मार्क्स लिखिए प्लीज जल्दी से मैं दोबारा प्ले करूंगा सुनने के लिए सबके मार्क्स लिखिए जल्दी से राजनीत कौर के सिक्स आए हैं और शिवानी का शिवानी आपके मार्क्स वन है मार्क्स वन कैसे हो सकते हैं आपके मार्क्स तो सेम थे ओ, ओ, आपने उल्टा लिख दिया सब कुछ ऑल राइट ऑल राइट ऑल राइट ठीक है दोबारा करते हैं जो आप मिस कर गए एक डायरेक्शन गड़बड़ हो गई आपसे दोबारा प्ले करने वाला हूं ध्यान से सुनिएगा नाउ वी हैव आल्सो पुट टुगेदर अ मैप व्हिच इज सेंड आउट टू ऑल द रेजिडेंट्स इन द एरिया एंड ऑन द मैप वी हैव मार्क्ड द प्रपोज्ड चेंजेस फर्स्टली वी विल प्लांट मैच्योर पाइन ट्रीज टू प्रोवाइड शेल्टर एंड शेड जस्ट टू द राइट ऑफ द सुपरमार्केट इन डेज रोड इन ऑर्डर टू एड्रेस द ट्रैफिक प्रॉब्लम्स the pavements on the corner of carbury and thomas street will be widened this will help to reduce the speed of vehicles entering thomas street we think it's very important to separate the local residential streets from the main road so the roadway at the entrance to thomas street from days road will be painted red this should mark it more clearly and act as a signal for traffic to slow down one way of making sure that the pedestrians are safe is to increase signage at the intersections A keep clear sign will be erected at the junction of Evelyn Street and Hill Street to enable traffic to exit at all times. Something we're planning to do to help control the flow of traffic in the area is to install traffic lights halfway down Hill Street where it crosses Day's Road. Now, we haven't only thought about the cars and traffic of course, there's also something for the children. We're going to get school children in the area to research a local story, the life of a local sports hero perhaps. and an artist will incorporate that story into paintings on the wall of a building on the other side of Hill Street from the supermarket and finally we've agreed to build a new children's playground which will be at the other end of Hill Street close to the intersection with Carberry Street wonderful now what's the next stage well the final plan okay this was pretty complicated you know because crossings ki baat kar rahe hain junctions ki baat kar rahe hain और मैंने आपको अभी समझाया है जंक्शन क्या होते हैं जंक्शन इस तरह की क्रॉसिंग को जंक्शन बोलते हैं जंक्शन हैं क्रॉसिंग्स हैं सो दे आर द थिंग्स विच यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड विच इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तो अभी हमारे पास काफी ज्यादा मार्क्स आ गए हैं सो वी गॉट लॉर्ड ऑफ मार्क्स तो कवलजीत कौर अभी आपको समझ आ गया होगा क्या गड़बड़ करी है आपने आप लॉस्ट हो गई हैं विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू शुड नॉट गेट लॉस्ट राजविंदर सिंह गॉट फोर आउट ऑफ सेवन अभी जब ये क्लास खत्म होगी प्लीज इसे रिवाइंड करके दोबारा से देख लीजिएगा और अगर आप में से किसी बंदे ने दोबारा से कुछ सुनना है वो मेरे पास जूम रूम में आ सकता है उसका जो लिंक है वो डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिया है मैंने आई हैव गिवन द लिंक ऑफ द जूम रूम इन माई डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स क्लिक ऑन दैट लिंक एंड यू विल कम हियर मैं आपको दोबारा से करवा दूंगा बट प्लीज कम मार्क्स नहीं आने चाहिए कम मार्क्स नहीं आने चाहिए सो लेट एस है टॉक ऑफ दिस YouTube का सेशन हम खत्म करते हैं यहीं पे थैंक यू सो मच सी यू ऑन मंडे विद